I remember when I made the decision to be married, um, I was thinking about returning uh, to monastic life. And uh, I remember sitting in adoration, just asking God what his will was for me. And even though I thought I might be going back to the monastery, I ended up uh, with God, hearing God voice, God's voice saying very clearly in my heart that no, you need to be married. And even though I thought I would never be married, marriage ended up being one of the greatest things uh, I've done with my life. I mean, I can't imagine not being married to my amazing and beautiful wife. But you know what? Marriage is hard. And, uh, you know, it's probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I've learned that God gives us the grace and the sacraments to be able to get through anything that life throws at us in marriage if we are open to receiving everything the Spirit wants to give us. You know, sometimes I help couples when they're struggling in their marriages. And I remember one couple in particular that was having a struggle and, until the husband got cancer. And then the, all the problems that they had didn't matter anymore. And I thought to myself, what if I lived my marriage as if my wife had cancer every day? And it brought my thinking uh, about opening myself to God's love in a deeper way, realizing that these little things that we argue about and fight about, in the end, they don't really matter. That we should be focusing these beautiful years of our lives in covenant relationship and helping each other and our children get to heaven. And so marriage is the sacrament of love and life and intimacy and communion that anticipates our life with God forever in heaven. So open yourselves deeply to everything God wants to give you in your marriage and God will help you get each other and your beautiful children to heaven.